Hi everyone, welcome back to another weekend episode of Cooking with Mary Sue. Before we begin, I want to remind everybody to hit the like and subscribe and share it down at the bottom. My numbers are slowly, slowly growing. I just need a lot more subscribers. So I want to uh, mention to everybody my book I wrote a few months ago. I had published by Christian Faith Publishing House. It won the Pinnacle Book Achievement Award this past summer. You can find it on Amazon, eBay, Barnes & Noble, and iTunes. And it has its own website now that's called animalsliftourspirits.com. You can go on that website. It tells you a little bit about the book. It has a buy now button. It takes you right to Amazon to buy it. And I'd like to announce to everybody that I'm finally, after all these months of waiting, I am finally having my first book signing next week on November 18th at a, at a church up in Collierville, Tennessee. Yep, it's going to be my first book signing. I'm so excited. And I think I may be having a second one on December 4th in Como, Mississippi. Well, I'll know more about that later. But I am going to have the one next week on November 18th. It's at a senior, a senior expo at this church, uh, Collierville United Methodist Church. If anybody's in the area, if you're close enough to come, you're welcome to come and visit me. Okay? Today, I'm making this together. This is actually going to be our dinner tomorrow night. So I got something fixed for tonight, but this is going to be tomorrow night. And it's getting nice and cold here. Tomorrow night's going to dip down in the low 30s, getting close to freezing. Fall's here. In fact, it almost feels like winter time. And I decided to make it my first pot of soup for the winter, or for the fall, rather, my first pot of soup. And I'm going to make cabbage soup. Mixed with some beans and some smoked sausage and a few spices. I love to make cabbage about once a month usually. Kind of when I'm in the mood. And I know I'm in the mood when I'm at the store and I'm walking by and I look at the cabbage. And I think a minute, do I want cabbage? As it says, yes, take me home. I want cabbage. <laughs> and I was in the mood when I saw it this week at the store. Oh, I might need to mention you can find links below to my other channels. There's Brother Claudia Flex. Tootsie Q Knickknacks and Garden in the Delta. There'll be links down below to those and to my eBay store. Now, everything here I'm going to put in the cabbage is already cooked. The sausage is already fully cooked. I'm using, this time I'm using turkey smoked sausage. Two of these. I'm going to dice them up kind of small, bite size. And I'm adding beans. This is going to be three bean soup. Plus, plus I decided to throw in a can of diced potatoes. I love putting diced potatoes in almost any kind of soup I make. Or casserole, anything like that. I keep a lot of these on hand. They're much easier to use for recipes rather than keeping a bag of raw potatoes on hand. If I keep too many raw potatoes on hand, they usually go bad. I throw them out before I use them. So I keep a lot of the canned ones and frozen potatoes in my freezer. And I'm using crowder peas, pinto beans, and navy beans. Those are my three choices. Now you can choose any flavor of beans you like. A lot of people like kidney. I like kidney beans a little bit. They're not my favorite. I don't hate them, but I don't love them, so I decide not to use them here. Now, I do love green beans, but my husband doesn't, so I'm not using green beans. So I just I decided to use these three. Like I said, you can use any kind of beans that you like in your recipe. I says everything here is already done, but the cabbage, I cook the cabbage a little bit ahead. Because I like to cut my cabbage till it's really, really tender and soft. About usually close to two hours. I got a nice pot of it here. I'm not sure I want to show you my cabbage though. It's a little bit burnt. <laughs> Just a teensy bit. I got busy on the phone and didn't smell it burning and before I knew it, it was burnt. But it's not too bad. It's savable. Once I put the spices in it and the beans in it, it'll taste great. It only burnt a little bit. I call it in time. Okay. And good thing for a burnt taste to add some butter. That'll help a whole lot adding some butter. And I add some more water to it. But once I put my ingredients in the cabbage, I'm just going to put it back on the stove and watch it for about 10-15 minutes and that'll be fine. If you want to know what to do with the burnt pot, how to save it, put a little vinegar in the bottom of it, about a cup or two of vinegar. Put it back on the stove, bring the vinegar to a boil, and then put in... Well, I just shook in a bunch of baking soda. Usually two or three tablespoons or half a cup, whatever. I just put some in. It fizzes up, but it gets all the burnt stuff off fine. I've had to do that several times in my kitchen. <laughs> yep. So you might keep that tip in your mind. Vinegar and baking soda is good for a burnt pot. I guess we all burn stuff now and then in the kitchen occasionally. I try not to, but I do once in a while. That's about bite size. I'm going to cut 
eighth and a half again real quick. Like I said, everything here is already done. My smoked sausage is fully cooked. I will usually use either beef or turkey, whichever I find at the store. And they had this on sale the other day because they had run out of the beef and I went ahead and got turkey while I was there. I very seldom use pork, pork sausage or pork or anything. I usually always stick to beef. Okay. Got two more here. Actually, that's be bite size. Well, there are a whole bunch. Oops, get back here. A whole bunch of those right there. I'm going to put these in my pot. Yeah, my cabbage takes about an hour and a half to two hours. So I started it a little while ago to get it really, really done. I hate, I hate cabbage that tastes. Still tastes crunchy. I like my cabbage to be very, very soft and tender. Like I said, I'm going to add this stick of butter to it. That will help with the uh, teeny tiny burnt taste it has. And once I add all these other spices to it, it's going to taste fine. Yeah. I'm not quite used to my gas stove. I'm used to always using electric. And this gas stove uh, I've had to use the last couple of years, it cooks much, much faster than electric. And I'm not quite used to that. I'm not going to drain any of these. I, I need that juice for the soup here. If it's not enough, I'll add a little bit more water, but I think I may have one, may add about half a cup of water. But I'll wait and see that the all in here. Oh, this is going to make a good, good, hearty winter soup. I love almost any type of bean soup mixed with uh, different types of, types of meat. Sometimes chicken, sometimes sausage. Okay. My last one is my navy beans. You could use northern beans if you wanted to. Northern and navy is very similar. They're both a white bean, but the navy is a little bit smaller. I just like this little smaller taste bite of it in my soup usually. Most of the time. But if I don't have navy beans, I'll use great, uh, great northern beans. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of onion. I've got some frozen onion here, diced up. Or you can use minced onion, either one. I just cut up some fresh vegetables in the freezer the other day. Some more bell peppers and onions and celery. I got several bags in the freezer because I know it's getting winter time. I'm going to be making all kinds of soups and casseroles. So I like to keep those on hand in the freezer. I just grab some out and stick it in my soup when I need it. Okay. And while this is simmering, I'm going to add just a few teeny, teeny, little, teeny, bitty, <laughs> teeny, bitty, little bites of crushed red pepper. I don't use very much of this because my, my husband loves it, but I don't like my stuff to be too hot, so I just use a little bitty dab of it. Not much because it's very strong, and it doesn't take much to make your food hot, just a little bit. Now, I'm not going to need any water at all to this right now. I'm going to let this cook down, simmer down for about, I'll say about 15 minutes. And we will take a look at it. But it's smelling good. Oh, look how thick it is. Look at that cabbage and the beans. That's going to be delicious. I'm going to put it over here. And we'll be right back. I thought I'd move y'all over to the stove for a few seconds. My cabbage is heating up over here nice with all the beans and sausage and potatoes in it and the butter. It's smelling great, looking great. It tastes good too. I took a bite. It tastes great. It has no burnt taste to it, even though I did burn the cabbage just a little bit. I cleaned this pot a little while ago. Got about 90% of the burnt stuff off. I'm going to try to get a little bit more off. It will come out nice and clean by the time I get through with it because I've done this before. Sorry to say, but I have. <laughs> You can tell how nice it looks right here, but a little while ago when I first took it up, this whole bottom of this pot all around the edges was just totally, totally black with cabbage, burnt cabbage all over it. What you see here now is just vinegar, white vinegar. That's about at least a cup, maybe two cups I poured in there. I want you to see how this works, how nice this works. 
I have to bring it to a boil. It doesn't take too long for vinegar to come to a boil. It takes a little bit, a little work, but it will come off. Yep, it's bubbling nice. Let me back you up here. I'm going to pull it off my burner for the moment. It's still, yeah, you still see it there. Okay. I have some baking soda here. I'm going to pop some in a little bit in. Look at there, see there? Fizzy. Kind of like hot alka seltzer. That fizz is what's going to eat off that burnt stuff off the pot. It just eats it right off. I'll let it soak a little bit. I'll let that soak a while. I'll come back and rub, scrub it off a little bit. And before I know it, it'll be good as new. Now I'll check my cabbage. Well, we're back and we're all done. I let this simmer on top of the stove for about 15, a little more than 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes is all it took. I didn't add any more water to it at all. No water. All I used was the juice that was in these cans. The pinto beans, the crown of peas, the diced potatoes, and the navy beans. I did not drain them, and that was just perfect for this. Look at that. Nice, good pot of hearty soup. Beans are a very healthy tree, too. I love using beans in all different recipes. They're healthy for you. They're low in fat. Use your high in protein. They're just a, a good source of nutrition for you. And I worked in my pot just a little bit more. Look. Just perfect again. Not a bit of spot in, the, in there. I almost started not to show y'all my burnt pot. But my husband said I should because he said there may be some people out there that don't know how to save a burnt pot. And I'll admit, I did use two years ago. If I burn a pot like I did today, I would just throw it out and go buy another one. But I did a little research and found out how to save them. I said use a little white vinegar and baking soda, let it sit a little bit, and might not do it two or three times, but eventually it will come out clean. And this came out tasting good, not, not any burnt taste whatsoever. The time I added spices and the butter, I added about a stick and a half of butter. And the beans and the chunky sausage, that's great. You can't taste anything that's burnt here. It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. And it's hot too. Yep. This is going to be our supper tomorrow night. In fact, I may freeze about half of this. It's such a big pot full. Sometimes when I make a big pot like this, I'll freeze half for later. I did kind of try to eat the same thing after the third day. <laughs> I'll pull it back out maybe a month from now, eat some more of it. Oh well. That's it for the day. You got two lessons in one how to cook cabbage soup and how to save a burnt pot. Don't forget my, about my book here. Be a great Christmas present. Stop and Supper. You can find it on Amazon, eBay, Barnes & Noble, and iTunes. And its website is called AnimalsLiftOurSpirits.com. That's it for this weekend. I'll see y'all later. You have a good week. Stay warm if it's cold where you are right now. We're going to be hunkering down next few nights. It's going to be in the low 30s. But it's just for a few days. Next week it's going to be back in the 70s again. Bye for now. God bless.